Alright, so Central C just dropped a brand new track with a shaggy called Wave over at Ama Piano Beat. Something I wasn't expecting from Senj, but it sounds fire. The energy is crazy, and at the time I'm recording this, it's racked up over 3 million views on YouTube and trending number one. So of course, I've been getting tutorial requests for it. I've just been studying Ama Piano Beats, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking everything down for you, including the drum patterns, sound selection, and those iconic log drums. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm in a full studio. For the BPM, I've got it set to 114. And I'm actually going to start with a drum pattern. I've pulled up the Planet Drill Bundle. And in the Dojo kit, there's a live percussion folder, which is going to be perfect for that organic sound. So we'll just take some sounds that we like. Something like that too. And that. Let's grab a rim shot too. So even that to start with, let's grab something like this too. Then maybe one more. Then we'll just copy this. Then we could get rid of this one. Just for a little bit of variation. And then to get more of a groove, I've just found the shaker loop. So we could bring the time up until it's only two bars. So we can copy that. I might swap this main bongo for this. Keep it a bit lower. I think just change this one as well. So I'm feeling this. All right, next up, I just got this effect from Sammy Beats. And this will be kind of consistent throughout. So we're just trying to create that atmosphere first. And for the kick, you just want something that sounds kind of deep and isn't hitting too hard. So I think this will work. And with this one, we're just going to fill each four step. So just really so. Doesn't need to be like a drill kick. And then from here, I just want to start adding some rhythm and some atmosphere with some melodic instruments too. So we could look through any plugins and we're just looking for the sequence presets or the rhythmical presets. Could even use stop plugins like this Toxic Biohazard. Like this one could work. Then I really like this one too. See what I'm saying? So simple, but it will work. See what I'm saying? So this preset sounds hard in Analog Lab. It's one called Alaska. I just want the first part. Just get a short note into. And then maybe a short one here. So I'm just adding these little electronic sounds before I add the main instrument, which is most likely going to be a guitar. And I just found this. So I think even just that first part would sound sick. But I've got some halftime on there, an EQ to filter it, some delay with the time set to 8, and then some reverb. Just that one note. We could add it again there. Okay, I just found a preset and another stop plugin. Kind of sounds like a siren, but I think it will fit this. Yeah, just sort of. I've pulled up GMS and I've got the Saw Retro preset. And just copy that. Alright, cool. Before we move on, I just want to tell you about today's sponsor, Audio Cardio, and the hearing technology that was researched from Stanford University. As producers, we put a lot of stress on our ears by constantly making music and mixing, and this mobile app was designed to strengthen and maintain our hearing. Whether you suffer from hearing loss or tinnitus, or if you just want to strengthen weakened frequencies, you can do it all with your mobile device and headphones. After a quick assessment, it generates a personalized sound therapy to stimulate your cells inside the ear and help send signals to the brain. The best part is the sound therapy is silent. So you can run it when you're watching TV, working out, when you're asleep, or when you're on your daily dog walk like me. If you want a free assessment and two-week trial, just click the link in the description and use the promo code JCP20 for a 20% discount. I hope this solution can help you strengthen and preserve your hearing so you can continue making great music for years to come. Now let's get back into it. So I've got a nice amount of effect sound sequences and some drums, but I need some sort of main melody to carry some parts. So I think we could add a guitar and maybe we could even use the sequence in this. We could build out a chord and then play around with some others. Ooh, 
maybe something like this. We'll work on the card, but I'm just gonna bring it out. Let's bring this one up. Let's bring this down. Yeah, maybe this. It could process it. Could start with some chorus. Then get some reverb on there. And I'm just gonna add this Jerry preset. But I'll bring the mix down. Just gives it that wire effect. And then yeah, just some delay. All right, before I add anything else, I need to get a log drum in there because I need to hear some bass. So we're going to have a mix of short ones and long ones. So we'll start with these. And then we'll just match that guitar chord. All right, so that's the first one. And then we'll get some shorter, pluckier ones. And for the pattern, I'm just going to go with what sounds good. Maybe double this one up. So yeah, I'm just using a few different ones to bounce off each other. Ooh, this one sounds crazy. Maybe at the roll here. also do is just get some triplets in there I'm thinking somewhere here there we go okay next thing I'm gonna add is just some electric keys and I'm just following the chord progression up here though let's try it this way though Stretch them out a bit. Just randomize the velocity too. Mm, so in one part, I can just have the keys, guitar, and drums. This vibe's hard. But in one part, I just want a bit of a harder snare, kind of similar to the central track. Let's copy that. Whenever I make I'm a piano beats, I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm starting with the drums, going to the melody, back to the drums, and then it all just gets a bit messy, man, but we're getting there. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and split the pattern because I want to figure out the arrangement, and then I'll know what I need to add. So I think we could just start with the drums for now. And then maybe one of the instruments. Yeah, maybe we'll start with this, and then we'll bring this in. Or something new to bring in. Let's bring this sweep over here. Then we can bring something else in. And then maybe this bass that we had. Here we go. Maybe even a guitar too. Actually, let's take that out there. It's going to be a slow build up. I think. And then maybe in this next section, this is when we can bring all of the log drums in. Alright, quick idea. So I'm gonna add half time to that main sequence. And then it can come off here. Then we'll just take a few things out. Alright, so I'm kind of structuring it like the wave track. So at this point, central jumping. So that's why I've just introduced a few more things here. Energy really starts picking up. And I think a couple changes to the log drum too. 
Then in the second half of the verse, I just want to add this one note. And then maybe one more time there. And then maybe that flute, you know. And then this last guitar. Then maybe we could bring half time back in. Just kind of break it down again. And then I think I just want to take it from this section. We need this fill in there as well, though. We could just cut some of the drums. All right, this is one of those beats where I could spend all day arranging it. So let's see what we've got so far. So we'll just start with the drums. And the main synth. have slow build-ups as well. just dips and we've got a slow build up again so i hope you're feeling this one if you were then just like the video and let me know in the comments and let me know what video you want next 